So since I've I've shown you my four largest fans, including a 220 and three 200 millimeter fans, I'm now going to let you compare the volume. So I'm going to do a scale up uh, from minimum to maximum volume, and uh, that will give you a fair understanding because I admit I forgot to do that for three of the four fans. <coughs> Unsurprisingly, at this at this speed, there's no noise. I can hear a bit of rubbing. Low hum. Yeah, that really is pretty quiet. That's maximum. So let's uh, compare that to the eight loon. This one gets louder faster, but still, it's even lower in, si in tone or pitch. So right up like this, perceptually, uh, like this, perceptually, this is actually the louder one because it has a higher pitch than this. Um, so that's interesting. This is louder, perceptually. But from a distance, this one seems louder. So that's interesting. Okay, so close up, this one is louder. No, wait, this one is louder, sorry. This one is louder, close up. And far away, okay, sorry, got myself confused. This one is ultimately, yeah, quieter. So let's go ahead and compare this one to a different fan. I'm going to have to remember to hold it like this because it keeps on hitting the frame. Hold on. Okay, so now I'm going to do the Bit Phoenix. And I did turn off the lights so that you can actually hear it at maximum potential instead of nerfed potential with the lights on. You know, again, it's uh, basically uh, noiseless at l the lowest possible volume. Now it's got a low pitch. Ooh, wow. That was a sudden jump in pitch. I mean, it's still low, but it's much louder.
and there's some harmonic resonance. There's also a weird kind of fluttering sound. And I, I don't hear that very often in fans. Another resonance. The fluttering is getting more frequent. So it's almost more like a, a tearing sound, which I'm wondering if it is because of the double-sided protuberances. Okay, so that's maximum speed. They're pretty close in terms of noise, but um, from a distance, this the Bit Phoenix is noisier. All right, let's uh, compare the Bit Phoenix to the Thermal Take. Honestly, I'm glad to have the Yate Loon with its flimsy frame out of my hands. Basically silent. Okay, so now there's a low pitched uh, noise. This is actually fairly noisy. Which one is perceptually noisier? Oh, <laughs> the Bit Phoenix. As loud as this thermal take is, the Bit Phoenix still sounds louder to me. It's got a louder. It's got a higher pitch than this thermal take. So yeah, Bit Phoenix, congratulations, um, because you are percep perceptually perceptually the loudest and uh, you're the most part this is the most powerful um, in terms of CFMs and also in terms of uh, millimeters of water so airflow and static pressure so now I think some people would want to go for the thermal take but honestly the difference in term of noise that I'm perceiving is not significant enough to warrant you if you're concerned about noise uh, going to that one the 8 loon does have is the only one of the four that does have some harmonic resonances so you might want to keep that in mind um, and it's also fairly weak although it, in terms of airflow it's number two out of the four it's all you know and it's also very large so you're going to have a hard harder time because it doesn't have the extra mounting holes like the bit phoenix does um you'll have a hard time finding a case you can use it with without modification and i mean obviously you can use a drill or a rotary tool like a dremel or something like that but well, yeah you're 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 very restricted when you get into this size because Unfortunately, um, people want what they want, 
And even if you have the most amazing fan in the world, if it isn't within the size range that most people want, which is 120 and 140, generally speaking, then you're going to have a hard time selling them. And so they have to be sold for a higher price to compensate for the fact that there aren't very, as many sales. You see what I mean by this? So it's kind of a catch-22. In many ways, larger fans are uh, beneficial as a choice, but the large size also means that people who want like a small form factor case, um, <laughs> they will find that the fan constrains them somewhat, perhaps. So now at least you have an idea of the sound comparison between those four fans. So uh, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. And uh, please don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and all that. Have a great day.